What's up guys, my name is Mitchell Watson. Welcome to Town & Country TV. I am so pumped because we have flown from Birmingham, Alabama all the way to Livonia, Michigan to see none other than this, the 2021 Roush F-150. In fact, we're actually at the facility here and uh, you know what, we're going to do a full walk around a product review of this vehicle, but we actually have some help because this product is brand new and has not even been released to the public at the time that I'm making this video. So come on in, we've got Mr. Kevin from Roush Performance products so welcome, welcome man welcome welcome absolutely welcome well thank Michigan you so much for having uh, us in the video um so i kind of wanted to do a full walk around of the vehicle itself and we just sure. got through doing a tour of the facility for those that have visited roush performance in the past you might have actually been to our uh, previous building mm -hmm. uh, last summer actually covid worked out great everyone was gone we picked up and we moved facilities <laughs> we've actually joined a number of other roush entities here in this million plus square foot facility uh, this is what we call Roush Building 50. A million square feet? Over. Yep, over a million. Oh. And within here, we do our composite, our carbon fiber group. Wow. Our entertainment design uh, group is located at the front. Performance assembly here just beneath our, uh, our place where we make the superchargers right here on site. Entertainment design? Like y'all make roller coasters or something? Not roller coasters, but we do do rides. Uh, wow. We've got a number of uh, theme parks that we actually do a we lot for that we can't even talk about. But yeah, well, really then we really won't cool talk stuff. about it. We're just going to keep on moving. But, uh, but that that brings up a all point. right here. That's a that brings up a point that you guys are an engineering company first, here. and you've used your passion for vehicles and, and your knowledge of engineering to build this. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is obviously this is the 2021 Ford F-150. Um, the Roush I do believe is available on an XLT and a Lariat chassis platform. Correct. That is, so you can pick either one, a 302A or a 500, 501, and 502. Or is uh, it 502A? 502A, okay. Yep. Okay, so the higher version of the Lariat. Exactly. Okay, yep. perfect. So uh, I'm kind of noticing a couple of different things that you guys have done to the, the, the truck. It looks totally different. Like what is the, the key differentiating factor? Like if you had to point out the main thing about Roush F-150, what would you say is the biggest thing you guys have done for 21? Bigger, bolder stance. I like it. Uh, achieving a, a, a stronger look. Okay. What we don't want to do is get lost in the crowd. Yet we don't want to be shooting fireworks off every time yeah. and everything else like that. There's this, uh, we've got some good feedback from our customer base, rugged yet refined. I, I tease some of our marketing staff because the customer <laughs> profiles that we use to really understand our customer. What are they yeah. looking for? What are they looking for from us? Yeah. How do we translate that into product? We've got a great team here that uh, takes those inputs. We've got our own in-house design staff. Yep. We started with, who are we making this for? That's What's point. our goal? And we started way back in, gosh, mid-2019. Wow. Yeah, we've been at this for a while. You've been working on this one since mid-2019. Yeah, I think we kicked it off in August of 2019. Wow. So we've been in the studio. We do foam development work. We do a lot of different design theming. Uh, we get reviews and feedback from the field. We bring in a number of key salespeople. Wow. Uh, you know, we, we need to take that input. Yeah. Because what we don't want to do is just make a product for us. That's right. We want to make a product for our customers. They're the ones that are putting their hard-earned dollars yep. towards buying something they don't need, but they want. <laughs> and that's an important thing. It's like that's no right. one needs, like that's in, a, right. in a stage three Mustang, no one needs 750 horsepower. <laughs> I mean, the F-150 from Ford has always been such a benchmark for the yep. others to compete against. Yep. In the 21, you just get that next level. and yeah. of the base content, the high tech features that are already in there, yep. we have to look at it and say, okay, how do we take that further? Yeah. How do we make it, uh, we joke, Roushicized, you know? Yeah. How do we make it something that our customers, will, again, will take their hard earned dollars and go buy something just because from us, wow. it's what they want. Yeah, so, absolutely. Um, so what, yeah. what is what have you guys done to the front of this vehicle? I mean, obviously I'm seeing some sure. big letters right here. As far right as here. content <laughs> goes, yeah, you know, the, the list, of uh, what we changed and the content and everything is, is pretty extensive. Okay. We do a full grill replacement. This okay. is entirely uh, from Roush. It's a multi-piece. We've got, uh, we measure airflow because the supercharged version is going to be coming out uh, so later you... on. So we look at how does the powertrain cool. So we're looking at the number, the total uh, surface area for air to flow through. I see. Uh, obviously Roush prominence, uh, the big bold, Yep. Uh, put it out in front, make sure someone knows that yep. it is a Roush. Uh, we actually have new this year. These are <laughs> semi-transparent lenses. That's During cool. the day, they're fully opaque. 
But when we light from behind, it's actually transparent and it emits uh, an accent light through there. That is so cool. Um, that is so cool. I, and I didn't realize this. Um, yeah. Josh, our cameraman, was Kinda telling me that on the inside, when we were just in there just a second ago watching that other or making the other video the yeah. tour of the facility that he saw those light up i didn't even see it man that is wild i have not yeah, seen it's that. kind of a surprise that you'll get at night first yeah. time at night you'll see those absolutely and i see uh there's still the camera so you guys are able to retain the camera on the front sure do and the washer for it this is the little really? washer head okay. and with the with the changes that we make to the vehicle we have to make sure that the base vehicle systems all those sensors that are now yep. in the 21 still are fully operational that's interesting um, from adaptive crews to the park sensing oh, and all those point. others you know actually underneath this section are a number of sensors that ford puts on so we can't actually cover this area so you'll see our wide body kit stops just short because the sensors are located underneath wow if they were to have to project through a different surface those sensors are no longer you know, then, operating the way they they needed to you know it's not a very, very sexy term but it's a lower bumper cover <laughs> It's again promoting airflow okay. uh, for our intercooler that'll be coming for the supercharged variant. Okay. Again, it's all about airflow. Okay. Tucked behind here is the adaptive cruise sensor. Really? We actually work with Delphi and they test our material to make sure it still works with their systems. Wow. So, so. you guys have got that all certified and taken care of yep. there. Well, I'll tell you one of my favorite features, but I will tell you that when I first heard about it and hadn't seen it yet, the biggest thing that I was worried about is when I saw the order form, they said wide body fender flare. And I'm yeah. looking at this like, well, that's going to be interesting to see <laughs> yeah, how that, we'll see so I was about. a little worried it was going to look goofy, but I will tell you, you guys yeah. nailed this oh, wide body you. fender flare. So, so tell us a little bit about what's going on here. Sure. Um, uh, what, what is the purpose behind this? Is it, is it just functional? Is it aesthetic? What, what's going on here? It's, it's, uh, it's a little bit of both. Obviously we do put a larger tire on that tire has to be covered for spray. Okay. And so by, by bringing the body side out, we can fit that larger tire and still remain compliant rather than just go with a conventional arc based fender flare that you see a lot of companies uh, do. Yep. This is an opportunity for us to say, okay, how do we make it visually bolder? Yeah. How do we go further than what we've done? And so mm -hmm. we have, this is all uniquely tooled for us, mm -hmm. um, made in the US. Uh, designed in concert with our suppliers, getting their manufacturability feedback and such. Back and forth, a lot of trials. So yeah. we were talking earlier, we're not necessarily first to market, but maybe we could say we're best to market. Thank goodness. Because it's that back and forth to make sure that what we want in our head and what yeah. we're designing can actually be made. That's exactly so. right. And one of the biggest ways that I compare you guys with the other companies I can think of and hear me out before you just start bashing me in the comments, is very similar to like Apple. You know, you know, there's other companies that might, <laughs> might, might come out with a great technology, but it's not implemented well. Hmm. And then when Apple comes out and does it, two or three years later, they're the best on the market. And then guess what? Then that technology actually is wow. widely adopted. And so yeah. that's kind of the way that I look at you guys. That's very nice. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's true. Um, uh, it's very nice, actually. Uh, it does take us longer. Yeah. We do a lot of testing. We yeah. do a lot of development trials. Each of our systems, we want to make sure that the the Ford base vehicle still works as intended. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Anything we do should not detract from what Ford had already designed. Yeah. It Absolutely. should only enhance, uh, take further, and those kind of things. Absolutely. What one of the fun things I like that little back corner piece is actually a functional heat extractor. Shut up. So we, we have an opening from under hood wow. that's actually going through. It's a multi-piece injection molded That is so cool. Component. Let me pop the hood so we can see what you're talking about yep. because that's, uh, I have not had a chance to see. I did not realize that was a functional heat yep. extractor. Okay. So through the corners of under hood. You look, yep. Yep, right oh, down I in see there. it. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Yeah, you've got the, you can actually see it right through there. That, that is neat. You can only get air in to coolers and radiators if you can get it out. Yeah, absolutely. So, Otherwise, it turns into a parachute. <laughs> Focusing on that, you know, on the trailing edge you, actually is kind of nice. Can you tell he's the engineer and I'm the redneck? Right. I love it. <laughs> so we, we call them air brakes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's exactly right. So, okay, so I, I see what you're going on with the, the wide body fender flare. I think it looks fantastic. Oh, thank you. Um, the, the wheel and the tire combination is fantastic. Uh, so, up, yeah. okay, so why General Grabber ATs? It is a fabulous tire. 
Okay. Uh, we've been working with Continental, which is the general brand, yep. uh, over a number of years, actually first in Mustang, and okay. we've done a lot of head-to-head -head comparisons. Okay. We've got obviously a lot of engineers here at Roush, chassis engineers, suspension, uh, a lot of, I call them calibrated butts, right? Yeah. Those that can sit in a vehicle and tell, you know, what, oh, that's a harsh ride, or this or that. Yeah. Uh, we did some blind testing okay. with them. Uh, first on Mustang, and the Continental Extreme Contact came back with these glowing remarks. Continental's been great in racing. Uh -huh. uh, been a lot of connections over the years. So when it came to the General and we were choosing the right tire for us, we did a lot of testing in their Uvalde, Texas proving yep. grounds. Yep. A few engineers had a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of fun. Uh, but it was that back-to-back -back comparison. And then yeah. when you can really start seeing, okay, same condition, same truck, same everything, just looking yeah. at the tire difference yep. and what it can mean it's been great right it's in a no compromise kind of situation yeah the sidewall is great it's aggressive but mm -hmm. you're not giving up a lot of ride quality Absolutely. to get that so. well in the wheels um you know in the years past wheels. i think you guys have had a wheel that was co-developed with another right. brand and i well, we're not gonna bring that up but it, did you guys do that again it, here this time no this is scratch built started with initial uh, sketching in-house at our own design studio. It's got a thickened outside wall for protection around the bead. Okay. But it's integrated into the lip of the wheel. That's why this section is actually pretty tall. Uh, if see. you look at the inside one, it doesn't take the same kind of side impact from rocks and such, so yep. it doesn't have to be that's as awesome. uh, thick. So we've built that up on the outside. That is fantastic. And that's a 20 by 9 inch wheel, I'm assuming? 29, no, 20 by that. 10, something like that. It, yeah, it's, I want to say it's, it's a 20 by 9. <laughs> yeah, no. Give or and, take. And, and it's and a the proprietary chassis wheel. Going like, no, don't say that. <laughs> yeah, it's unique to us. It's actually a carryover dimension. Yep. So it could actually backdate. Yeah. Just saying. That's from a that's, 15 plus. That's very for interesting. For the, uh, the spacing and all. Um, and, but and yeah, that wheel is all all us. Yeah, and okay. yeah that's inside. The, you knew exactly what I was about to ask oh, yeah. you about that suspension. That's kind of right. like my. That's my forte. We started working with Fox in the 15 truck. Question is, you know, well, why? Well, obviously Fox has got a fantastic heritage, yeah. knowledge base. They are well integrated into the highest uh, versions of Ford products. Yep. You know, their knowledge about the Raptors, their suspension oh. equipment on Raptors, that's what actually naturally got us to them for that. Absolutely. Uh, a lot of back and forth of over the years of, okay, our, what's our tuning? What's this and the, that? Yep. This particular year, we've actually changed it. We changed our ride height actually dropped it it's something like half a millimeter really well, what it did is it got the stroke right more balanced in uh the range of what can go up and down Interesting. ironically enough what we found is actually aesthetically on the outside you can't even tell yep. but what you do notice is the ride is actually a bit better really um, it's, and this is getting into those like like bits and bobs of those tiny yeah. little things that make yeah. an actual appreciable difference. Uh, well, we've got the Roush graphics rolling down the side, and got, uh, we've got, got, got the. Tell, uh, we've gotta got to let the world know this yeah. is a Roush, yeah. right? <laughs> Absolutely. So. You pay for the name, but you are not paying for the name. You're paying for the engineering that that name brings, and that's one, right. one of the things I love. And I'm so glad you guys brought it back to America with the American flag. Yeah. Um, so you were telling me a little bit of story about how that actually started. Do you mind yeah. sharing that with the, sure. with the camera? Sure. No, just kind of a fun story is that. Uh, you know, we're here in Metro Detroit. We share an international border with uh, Canada, Windsor, yep. Ontario. And so a number of our engineers are actually Canadian. Interesting. And one of which, uh, it was years ago, I said, gosh, you know, you guys love your flag so much. <laughs> Why aren't we putting them on the vehicle? And it was such a, oh yeah, you know, kind of moment. Yeah. You put it on and all of a sudden it's like, yes. And yep. I mean, it's great to see how that's been by no means, we did not invent this. We didn't, yeah. we put it on. I'm not taking that kind of credit. Yeah. But the proliferation of how it's made its way into different parts of the vehicle, yep. even Ford's doing it now on some, uh, you know, Bronco's got some. So. And one of, one of the things I love about Roush is specifically, and if you guys haven't seen the video where we walk through the plant, is all of this stuff is assembled here in Livonia, Michigan. And that's, I mean, it's American made, it's American developed, it's American engineered. It's, it is supporting American jobs. And so you just can't ask for much more than that. So um, talk about the suspension in the rear. We talked sure. about the coilovers in the front. Yep. Did y'all do anything to the back? The rear is got, it's got a different shock with a shock guard on it um, okay. from Fox. So Ford actually has a new tuning code for the 21s. And so 
I'd love to keep doing the same thing. Get, don't get me wrong. I'd love to just kind of keep rinse and repeat. Yep. The reality is we had to revise our tuning. Yeah. And when we do that, we go retest. Yeah. Um, Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards for yep. emergency handling, lane lane change, braking. Each of those, we re-perform those tests with the revised equipment to know that we've got the confidence in what we're putting out in the market. Wow. So. It looks the same, yep. I, and, and from the outside, you're like, yeah, it looks the same. It's, it's nah. actually revised. Funny One thing way. that I've noticed about these wide body fender flares is that the seal up against the paint is very consistent. Like there's oh, a, thank you. You would think yeah. that, that it would be easy to have it not be level. <laughs> so what are, what are some of the things oh. that, that you do to make sure that that is consistent and it's absolutely perfectly straight all the way across? So what, do, what do you guys do to, to, to accomplish that? We just left inside the, the group of eight to 10 people who are I don't know if you happen to notice in the background but you know one engineer is up underneath we had two or three mechanical uh, manufacturing engineers you've got operational people the constant feedback stream to make sure things like that that are they are customer quality perception yep um, that's a challenge I will tell you right now that's the number one challenge on this whole vehicle uh, these wide body kit components getting them to not only fit stay but seal. Do the subassembly right next to the line. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes immediately onto the vehicle. It gets pushed wow. into place with those uh, the special installation equipment pieces. Yep. To net out and uh, we call it wet out. Make sure you know there's mechanical fastening. There's some uh, guide pins and there's tape as well as the seals. Absolutely. They are Absolutely. Not, not just slapped on. So, yeah, it's a, yeah, you know, it's not some good old boy redneck just slapping on a set of fender flares that are just not quite. You know, the, those bolt style fender flares. Right. Thank goodness those. Uh, uh, yeah, that's not what you guys are using here. It, it's a totally not. different animal. So, but uh, you know, we'll we learned a lot in doing this. We got to keep uh, evolving. Yep. An interesting thing about the wide body kit, and you can see just down under there, we actually just pass now the width required. To actually, uh, as DOT regulations require, clearance lighting. Oh. What used to be just kind of an accent light, we're now into clearance official lighting because yeah. the outside body is wide enough such that. And that's what you're talking about you right here on either side. And then there's three underneath. I so, didn't even see those. Yeah. That is so cool. I didn't so realize. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, you see them on boat trailers and everything yep. else like that. It's because of the width. Absolutely. Uh, we just passed the width and of. And because the, the flares aren't just flexible flares, they yeah. are now part of the body. Wow. So um, part of knowing and understanding the rules, Yep. get more lights. Yeah. And, and, and so People I'm assuming it. this is a 50 state legal vehicle, so you're not gonna have any issues there. Yes. Do you guys sell these things to anywhere outside of the United States? Uh, we actually do. Um, really? We've got market support, uh, The we call it GCC, it's uh, Gulf Coast uh, countries, uh, Middle East, um, Dubai, really? Uh, Saudi Arabia. That is so cool. Uh, they get the F-150 from Ford. Yep. And so we support them with upfit kits. Wow. Uh, we get inquiries. It's, it's kind of crazy all yeah, over. Yeah, absolutely. So. And I see uh, the Roush exhaust is back, so that's fantastic. So um, I, I'm assuming, is this the same kit? Uh, and I'm probably teeing you up. It, for, it, is it, this the same kit that you guys had last year? Of course it's not. <laughs> <laughs> the center line of the exhaust where we connect on the Ford base Ford vehicle. Yep is shifted three millimeters three millimeters three millimeters just and enough to like, piss you off could you could you take the old part and make it fit yeah uh you could but you'd be doing the wrong thing for all the exhaust hangers you'd be putting them in a bind and I'm when that you. exhaust system heats up it grows in length you'd be losing you know it, hanger bushings would pop out you yep. get all sorts of bad stuff so it's a new inlet that, pipe we do awesome. have the same uh tuning code Okay. We've revised our active exhaust. Uh, so often. active exhaust is active back. Active is back. Boom. Active is back. That, that is one okay. of the biggest features the customers love is they want it loud, but they don't want to make their neighbors so upset. You can not, make up your own mind. So, on so how, does, how does that active exhaust technically work? You know, our Mustang system has two valves. The okay. truck has one. Uh, it's also how they operate. For a truck, we made it a little easier just with an on-off. Okay. So we've got a push button on the dash. It's a nice little LED backlit. Um, it's a nice improvement over our previous switches. Absolutely. Uh, again, customer feedback is good. We keep keep things moving. Funny, an idle shutoff. Feature. Yeah, the 30 there minute idle shutoff. We've been talking key. long enough. There you go. It's, <laughs> 
apparently we've been talking for a while. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. But no, it's all good. So the active exhaust is, it basically allows the customer to choose the routing of the exhaust gases through the muffler. Okay. A okay. lot of people have them. This, uh, we do have a couple patents, but they're, they're very uh, specific application wording. Yeah. We have a, a customer interface on Mustang okay. that others do not have. I've seen that the app that the you app, guys have. The yeah, app that and you can so control. Cool. And uh, for that particular system, we actually feed the controls through the onboard computer system. For the truck, wow. it's an easier install because it's an overlay. It exists without. It's a mechanical valve, it's electrically controlled. Yep. And basically, it's allowing a percentage of exhaust gas to go through a bypass circuit. Okay. And that bypass circuit has less muffling, so it's louder. Yep. Um, but it's a blended sound as it comes out of the exhaust. It's going back into a collector and then splits back again to the two pipes at the end. Wow, two, uh, okay, so so I always thought for some reason that there was, you had a loud pipe and a quiet pipe. Is that So that's not the case. I'm Not the case anymore. Not the case anymore, see? Right, there I, you I, go. I, so. You know, I said that I was like, only oh, yeah, ask questions I already knew the answer to. Well, he's no. over here learning me something to is what we call it in Alabama. Learning is <laughs> awesome. You know, so <laughs> it, it's funny they bring that up because yeah. a loud pipe and a quiet pipe. If you uh, look at previous years, we actually did a whole study on that. Why has yep. one pipe got more exhaust? You can't call it soot because it's not really yeah. soot. But you know, uh, why is one darker than the other? Yep. Do you know the crazy thing is? What's we actually that? found out it's the airflow coming off the tire and parts an eddy and it draws more out one than the other. Wow. So it's so coming from the tire, not from the It's actually aerodynamics, exhaust. believe it or not. It's aerodynamics influence is what changed that. So to balance that, and knowing that the tire isn't going to change its location or, or where, yep. what have you, we actually, that's where we've done that two to one to one to two split in order to make sure that those are uh, balanced because the, the scavenging effect is what it's called from the arrow. This is way You wouldn't more believe involved. it. It's like, yeah, exactly. I, that's that next level, though, of understanding what we do. Yep. And yep. when we have something like that, you study it. You get really yeah. bright people. I mean, we're, we're surrounded by a lot of people that are heck of a lot brighter than me yeah they can look into it find out what are those things and then yeah. propose a rather simple solution this brings a whole nother level of you know that because you see the people in the comments section sometimes and say oh i could build a truck for a heck of a lot cheaper than that well eh, not nah, not nah, nowhere near like that like I, i'm realizing well, it, technically it, you could it just won't be the same it, it, it <laughs> technically you could but it would be completely different in right, my opinion right. i am learning so much more about this product well, and stuff like that bothers us, right? When we yeah. do it, we we see it and we just look and say that's that's not how we want to present ourselves. Yeah. That's not how we absolutely you know trusted performance, trusted performance. All right, so for the inside, I've actually got Josh out here to kind of show us a couple of different things. Man, welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. Thank you. So tell us yeah. what a little bit about what you guys did. Now this is from the factory, a Laria chassis. Is that Correct. right? Correct. Yeah. So you got your two tone base leather in here on on the dash and the the center console there, but uh, okay. what you'll see is our new Roush seats here, uh, front and rear. Uh, we do this nice hexagon sort of pattern to match the grill up front. Um, oh, kind of keeping that design language. I didn't realize that that was yeah. a, a part of the, yeah, but it, when you said that, it makes all the sense in the world. Yeah, so it's kind of cool to bring that through the entire truck and you know, yep. our design team is really good at making sure that happens. So we've got all this new leather in here. We've got embroidered headrests, um, front and rear, and then We've also got a nice little console vault in here, which oh, you, know, you can store sweet. whatever you want. <laughs> Absolutely. I guess way. if you're in Alabama, it'd probably be a gun. <laughs> if you're uh, somewhere else, it might not be. It might yeah. just be a valuable. Right. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Man, um, this is crazy. So you guys aren't just slapping badges on the inside either. You guys are actually... Right. So tell me, like, because I'm noticing the quality of this leather looks if not as good as the Ford factory, it probably looks a little bit better. What are you guys doing different with these seats that other manufacturers aren't doing? Yeah, so it's a good point. Um, these aren't just seat coverings. You know, we do hours and hours and hours of testing with a, a seat machine that actually recalibrates all the sensors and makes sure, you know, it's still safe and airbags still function correctly if anything were to happen. So well, uh, we go above and beyond, you know, what the OE standards are to make sure that it's it's operational and absolutely. works well. So. Well, as Kevin just said off camera, he said, 
not killing people is always a good thing. It's, it's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, we like to make sure they're safe. So. Yeah, because, I mean, you, the last thing you need to do, and you won't know it until it's too late, is get in an accident, <laughs> right. and then the airbag doesn't deploy out of the seat like it's supposed right. to. Right, exactly. You don't um, want that. So. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that, that's really attention to details. Now, uh, do you guys do anything with um, uh, the placards or anything? Because I know in the previous generations, you guys would, like, serialize these things. Yep, Are you correct. still doing that for 21s? Yeah, so over there by the camera, you'll see there's a nice new badge for this year. Uh, says Roush has a nice little flag in there with the serial number. I think this one's number two. Feel that Wait little, a second, you guys re arc. redo this, the yeah. keys too? I haven't yeah. seen that. Nice little touch. Oh, that's that. sick. Yep. <laughs> so. <laughs> that that I mean, you talk about attention to detail. I didn't even yeah. realize that oh, part yeah. of it. Yeah, we weren't uh, we weren't messing around with that. And then I've got your nice R tag on the C with another American flag yep. here. So. The Lariat doesn't have our dash in here, but the XLTs will have our new dash sort of design on it. Oh, so that's you'll cool. see it has Roush and it's got like a carbon look to it. It's that really is cool. very cool. Well, nice it's just nice to know that you guys aren't just slapping crap together. I mean, pardon right. my French, but you know, it'd be very easy. And that's kind of what I'm noticing throughout this theme of this video as I'm learning more about this product as well. Um, stuff that I would have never learned if I wouldn't have made this trip up here, but it, it's just amazing to me that you guys take the uh, the time because I can imagine it's not easy to make a new dash plaque for every single vehicle. Yeah, I yeah. mean it's no two it's... of them are the same. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. It, that, that's what a lot of people don't realize about manufacturing. You just can't mass make those. No, and it's it's like you said earlier, the details that matter for us. And there you have it. That is one of the most detailed looks at the all new Roush F-150, the 2021 model. And a huge thank you to Roush Performance Products for allowing us to come out. So thank you so much for your wisdom. Thank you for uh, allowing us exclusive access because I, I haven't seen any other content quite like this truck yeah. so far. And uh, I just wanted to say a huge thanks to everybody that is there participating. If you like this kind of a content, this long form detailed look, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. It lets us and the YouTube algorithm know that you like this kind of content. So thank you guys so much. If you haven't already done so, make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel with that bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video. Peace.